And another thing that you said that I like is that instead of like reading reports, this is another huge alpha tip, don't go and just read reports. Be active. And this is something that I always advocate my students to do. And this is how I build my smart contract hacking course. It's not about just reading the reports or reading theoretic attacks of how reentry C works, how a DAO attacks works. No, you really need to take action because this is actually how your brain gonna memorize things and it's gonna be printed in your brain. So the next time you can actually use these skills. That's why the course is full of hands-on exercises. So they learn about DAOs and how DAOs works. They have three exercises where they need to hack DAOs in different techniques. So the same goes to uh, reading audit reports. I don't believe that it's very effective just to go and read audit reports. It's better to do like what you mentioned, like shadow auditing, okay? So go to a report that's already been published, but before you read it, just take clone the report to your local machine, try to find bugs, add some audit comments, try to understand the code, do it. Don't, don't, don't be tempted to go and look at the report right away. Just try to find bugs yourself and see what bugs you found, what bugs you missed. This will be much better learning experience and much more value will be added to your skills rather than just go and reading the report. This is one thing. Another thing is that if you go to an active contest that is actually happening right now, and it's about, let's say, diamond proxies, you can go to Solodit or uh, just use some Google Dorks to search all the vulnerabilities in Coderina or Sherlock or even Spiritbit that was about diamond proxies. So you learn about diamond proxies by doing auditing, live auditing or previous auditing, and then you can also make a write-up about it, about one of the vulnerabilities that you found. So this is some great tips for how to learn in a practical way.